There's a faith that comes from hearing God. And then there's a confidence that is a result of your focus. There's a zeal. There's a passion. There's a boldness. There's an assurance that does not come from faith, but comes from focus. When God spoke to you, you heard. When you hear, there's something in terms of your sight that is developed from your hearing. Hearing doesn't just cause hearing. But hearing also gives you something to look upon. Mm, 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 mm. Hear me. Faith is now the what? The substance of what? Things hoped for. So you cannot hope for something that you've not seen. What brought the sight is what you heard. So it is the hearing that brought sight. So you can still be hearing. But you've lost focus of what that hearing enabled you to see. So you're hearing without seeing. And when you hear without seeing, there's a focus that you lose. But when you still hold on, not just to what God said. But when God was saying, there was something that you began to see. Now, if you can maintain your focus on that which you began to see while you were hearing. There's something more than faith that begins to arise in you. Because there are people who never heard God again. But they never lost focus. They had God once. There was no second confirmation or third confirmation or first confirmation. Just that one time. That one time that God said and as I was hearing, I began to see. And God never spoke again. But I'm still pressing on. And I'm making sure that I don't lose my focus on that which faith made me to see. I don't know if I'm talking to someone this morning. It's not all about faith. That's why he says, write the vision down. Which means you write down what you saw. Why? When you're now beginning to give up, go back. When you've lost focus, go back. Because you wrote what you saw. So in you going back to read what you saw, it is a realignment of your eyesight. That's why you have to write the vision because there's a time where in your life, Habakkuk, you might lose focus. But there's a place even if I don't speak to you again. Go back to where you wrote what you saw. You see, when you concentrate, you concentrate here. But when you focus, you don't focus here. Your focus does not begin from the now. Your focus begins from the future towards the now. So anytime you are losing focus, you don't look here. Or anytime where you feel like giving up, you don't look here. There's a faith that is a derivative of focus. That here I am, I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to doubt, I'm beginning to give up and there's nothing around you to lift up your faith. Because everything around you speaks of hopelessness. You now need to lift up your eyes and look again. And saying, that is what I saw. And now faith doesn't come from your present circumstance. Faith does not come from your present surroundings. It comes from the future. And it may not be saying anything. Because the picture hasn't changed. But it's still enough. To start resurrecting things inside of you. Now, now, now it's no longer 
faith from your environment. Mm. No longer faith from your spouse or your friend or your uncle or your best mate. No, no, no. It, it's now faith not from within you, but faith from that which only you saw. Not even your wife. Because when the Lord was saying, she didn't hear. So she's not seeing what you're seeing. You, you, are, you, you are giving up towards that future, but the future still has a voice. Why? Because God said, and while he said, you begin to see. Anything that is ahead of you that God spoke to you carries the characteristics of him who knows the end from the beginning. So even though I've not arrived to the end, but it carries the DNA of the one who knows the end from the beginning. So I work out my beginning in my present situation not from my current situation, but from my future. So whatever you do, never allow yourself to lose your vision 